Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can write start section hook in Liferay 6.2. So when you perform some action in Liferay, these actions are called. So if you know about starts 1.3, we have this starts config.xml where we define all our actions and accordingly we forward to GSP. So like so like when this login action perform it will call a this class login action. So we write a hook and when this path is called this class is not called and our custom class is called. So you can see all the actions in this starts config.xml which is found in the source code. So we create a hook which override this action. So when user login, our action is called. So let's start this. So for this, right click new. And here we override login action. And it's hook. So we have this life loop dot example. And here we have this starts action. So by using this, we can update or add start section like this. So our path is this login. And our implementation class is like com dot. So this will give us error because we still not create this class. So now I create a class inside com.test package. Packages. Class is my custom action. Now this class extend base starts portlet action and click on finish so now we override our methods which are present in this base starts portlet action so now we have this process action and this so we need this one which contain these arguments it starts portlet action portlet config action request and action response also we override one more the render one this one so now we have override this process action and render so you can type anything I'm just using SOP. So we just SOP the two statement and after that we return from this method. So like we return from this original state port detection dot render and we pass these four arguments similarly for this and here we pass all the arguments which are already available here so by using this original state portlet action we call this process action method 
and inside the render we call this render method so so we use these return or this original state code election so that our flow will not break if we are not using this or we command this then login will not perform successfully so let me just deploy this so now it is available for use so refresh the page and now click on sign in so when you, i click on sign in look my custom render is called this one and then because of this our login page is available so we successfully log in and look my custom action is called so basically in short first we have to find the action which is available in stats config.xml you can click on control shift r if you attach your source code and search for the file you can get the file this one and then find the action path so i'm using login so it's this then in lifeview.xml i mention this as stats action path and write our class and in the class this extend base stats portlet action and we override both the methods process action and render and in both the methods i write a sop statement and then call a original stats portlet action process method so that our flow will not break so this is it in the next video we try to write our own stats action so if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching